This is 26-year-old Cadian Nelson being apprehended by police after he was wanted for kidnapping raping and threatening to kill a 13 year old girl. A lot of you may have heard of this story before but if you haven't he's recently been convicted for his horrific crime. So let's jump straight into this one and we'll see what the latest update is into this story. Just after 7am on the 3rd of November 2020, police were called to North Place in Mitcham after a member of the public saw Katie and Nelson grab a 13 year old girl in a very suspicious way. You see what had happened was Katie had crept up on this girl from behind as she walked to school. He had threatened to kill her and then forced her into an alleyway in a housing estate where he then raped her. The ordeal had been interrupted by a member of the public who had went to go and check what had happened. Cadian claimed that the victim was his sister and tried to walk away with her, but the woman continued to follow. The woman captured all this on video and it was posted onto social media. He then fled the scene, leaving the victim cloaked in his jacket, which he had draped over her. When police arrived at the scene, they did a quick search of the area, but Cadian wasn't found, so an investigation was started immediately, led by the Southwest Public Protection Unit. As the investigation started to develop, the footage of Cadian had started to circulate online, which provoked a fierce reaction from the public. Police would come out to say that a number of groups of people began to search for Cadian at some of his relatives' addresses and there was serious concerns that he would be physically harmed. So it was then the police put a proactive appeal out which included an image of him telling him to hand himself in because he was in immediate danger. At around 8.02pm he was spotted by a member of the public on Robinson Road SW17 just over a mile away from where the initial attack took place. Inquiries would go on to show that after the incident Cadian had travelled to a hotel in Baker Street where he booked a room. There then he visited various shops around London before going back to the hotel to drop the items off and finally he returned to Merton where he was arrested. Police would later come out to say that it was unknown whether he knew that the police were searching for him. When being questioned by police he remained silent but was subsequently charged and was remanded into custody. He would later go on to plead guilty to the charges that were brought against him in April of 2021 and then only a few hours later he was attacked in prison. From paperwork that I've seen personally it seems as if he was punched in the face multiple times which made him collapse onto a piece of furniture. He would then be taken to hospital where he suffered from life-changing injuries. A prison service spokesperson would later come out to say, quote, a prisoner was treated in hospital for an injury to his cheek. Police are investigating. Unfortunately, I don't actually have any more information surrounding the attack in prison. But at a recent sentencing hearing that took place over these past couple of days, Cadian was in fact handed a 20-year prison sentence for the incident that happened in Mitcham and a separate domestic assault case which happened back in October of 2020. He's to serve a minimum of 12 years before being eligible for release. But first and foremost, before I continue, I just want to give a shout out to the lady that confronted this monster because if it wasn't for her bravery, then this whole situation could have taken a lot longer to wrap up and Cadian could have struck again. For the 13 year old girl, I'm hoping she's receiving ongoing support as and when she needs it because what she went through, no person, especially a child, should have to go through that and they don't deserve for that to happen to them. Because moving forward, she probably doesn't even feel safe walking in her own area, even at that time in the morning when people are going about their day. But in the end, Cadian didn't quite get the Richard Huckle treatment in jail, but it was confirmed again that he did suffer life-changing injuries. But give the video a like for more crime-related content like this and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Abe Huncho, and I'll see you in the next one.